What's going on, Legion Beast? It's your boy, Matty Ice Leads for Locals. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a really powerful LinkedIn lead generation strategy using nothing more than your current LinkedIn connections. We're not doing connection requests, profile visits, we're not doing ads, none of that. We're utilizing your current connections right now to restart that conversation and get appointments on the calendar. And of course, all of this is done on complete autopilot and it's utilizing the connections that you already have. It's very powerful. I'm gonna show you the results of the campaign that we're doing right now. And then I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step how to set this up. It's very easy to do. So make sure you stay to the end of the video because by the end, you're gonna know exactly how to do this, okay? So let's get into it. All right, guys, let's dive into this. I'm about to share with you an incredibly powerful LinkedIn lead generation strategy, and it, it doesn't require any ad spend. It does not, uh, we're not sending out connection requests, so we don't have to wait for people to accept our connection requests and then finally log in and respond and all that stuff. We are sending uh, messages right to our first degree connections. And just to give you a little bit of context, uh, I got the strategy from doing what's called database reactivation. Um, you can learn more about it in the description. I'll have a link to a, a tutorial showing you the results that we're getting and stuff like that. But basically what we're doing is we're utilizing the current list of leads and prospects of our clients. And we're sending out uh, just a simple email and text message to their current list uh, with a really good offer. And so far it's done really well for restarting those conversations, getting people on the phone, getting appointments. And so I thought to myself, well, why not do this on LinkedIn? Because uh, a lot of my clients have a pretty decent number of LinkedIn connections. So why not send messages to those people with a really good offer trying to restart that conversation? So that's where the strategy comes from. Uh, it's really powerful if you have a pretty decent number of connections on LinkedIn, or if you're a marketing agency, that does any type of LinkedIn, or maybe you're not, and you want to add LinkedIn to your uh, to your offer, uh, LinkedIn lead gen, then this is a great strategy because uh, all you need to do is come up with a really good offer. Um, and uh, again, I'm going to show you how to set this campaign up in this video. So make sure you stay to the end because I'm going to show you step by step how to set this up, how to uh, kind of narrow down your uh, your first degree connections. So you're only sending the message to those people, uh, to those connections who are most likely to convert. But this is a really powerful strategy for your clients as well to kind of get those quick wins coming in. Um, so let me show you the results of the campaign that we're doing so far. And then I'm going to show you how to set this up. Uh, we're doing this inside of We Connect. You've Maybe you've seen my other videos on WeConnect. I can't recommend this enough. You get a two week free trial in the description. Please go through that link. Uh, it's an affiliate link. It does help support the channel. Um, it's a two week free trial and it's super cheap afterwards. Okay. But uh, WeConnect is just it's insanely powerful. You can do automatic connection requests um, and, and profile visits, all that stuff. It has a mini CRM in it. But now for, you know, for the purpose of this video, we're able to do this for, uh, this message to our first degree connections. Okay. So, so far we've had a pretty solid response rate, 13%. We've had 40. Um, actually I think it's 37. Uh, no, no 44. I'm sorry. Um, sorry, I got a call coming in one second. All right. Uh, so we've had uh, 44 replies. Okay. Now here's the thing guys, is this is it, depending on, the types of connections that you have on LinkedIn, um, that's really going to determine uh, or a big part of uh, what's going to determine your results. Okay, so if you have a bunch of uh, connection, like random connections that have like nothing to do with what you you do, maybe they're people that have pitched you like, you know, virtual assistants or marketing and all this stuff that has nothing to do with your service, that is obviously going to impact the results. But here's the thing is you already have the connections it's a numbers game. We might as well do it. It doesn't cost you anything other than the, the software. You might as well play the numbers and try to restart conversations with people who would be interested in what you have to offer. OK, so it, it part of it does come down to the types of connections that you have. But so far, we've had 44 responses and we've generated seven positive conversations like people saying, yeah, I'm actually interested in that. Send me more information or, or something along those lines. It's been a positive response. And what's really cool about WeConnect, so if we go over to uh, messaging, um, one of the things uh, in addition to you know set, being able to set up a campaign like this, the other thing I love about WeConnect is that you can, uh, it's basically like a mini CRM for LinkedIn. So if I, if I come here and I change this to leads, I um, now, now I can see all of the positive responses from this particular campaign. So in um, LinkedIn, you can't do that. Like the messaging uh, 
uh, app on LinkedIn is just like a disaster. You can't organize it at all. But here I can mark people as a lead, whoever responds positively. I can mark them as a lead and I can follow up with them later. So you have one person here saying, yeah, sir, sounds good. Please, uh, you have another one saying, please forward me for a review. Sure, that'd be awesome. Thank you, that sounds interesting. Thanks, we can discuss later this week. So, you know, uh, out of 44 responses, seven people responded positively. Sure, we had plenty of no's, not interested, but who cares? It's a numbers game, it's, it's all automated. You're just sending an automated message saying, uh, you know, hey, I have this offer, are you interested? That's all we're doing here, okay? So uh, those are the results so far. And, you know, again, it's working in the background, like, you know, all of this is automated. So this is uh, in this particular client has like a little over 10,000 connections. Um, in this particular campaign, we have uh, 1700 of his connection right now. But um, yeah, it can last a decent uh, amount of time, depending on the number of connections you have. So let me show you how to set this up in WeConnect. The first thing that we need to do is we need to create a list inside of Sales Navigator of your first degree connections. And I'll show you why in a second. So you'll need Sales Navigator. You get a 30 day free trial if you've never used it before. It's only 80 bucks a month after. Um, you also get 20 in-mail credits, which um, I, I've noticed that people do not utilize. And that's basically sending a message directly to an ideal prospect. So make sure you take advantage of that. But anyways, uh, you, you'll need Sales Navigator to create the list. And once you're inside a Sales Navigator here, we're gonna click on all filters. And this is really easy to do, guys. This is like ridiculously easy. All you're gonna do is under relationship here, you're gonna put first degree connections. Now, here's what I'll say. So you see, we have 9,500 results. That's a lot of people, okay? What you wanna do is, uh, so if you're doing this for yourself or maybe you're doing this for a client, you wanna think about the type of uh, client that you're trying to get, okay? So uh, I'm just gonna use a standard business owner example, okay? So this particular client is in the business loan space. So we wanna go after business owners to try and uh, put together maybe a custom funding plan uh, so they know what their financing options are, okay? So you wanna make sure that you have a really good offer and, uh, to start the conversation. But um, I, I seriously doubt that all 9,500 people are business owners, they're probably, a lot of people are probably in the same industry. Maybe they're in marketing, virtual assistants, all this other stuff, right? So um, what you wanna do is you can actually filter down your current connections to get more hyper-targeted. So let's say we wanted to go after just business owners, okay? So if we come down to title and now we type in owner, let's type in founder and then we'll do president, for example. Okay. So we put the titles in of the people that who are most likely to, to be our, our potential client. Look at that. We just knocked out 4,500 uh, people off the list. That's uh, we're, we're, we're just getting, we're getting even more targeted with our current connections. Okay. So uh, we're down to 5,000. Now let's say maybe we want to, um, we want to exclude certain uh, industries or certain titles or something like that. So I come up to keywords and I could put not, uh, let's, uh, and we'll put it in um, quotations here, not capital. All right, so I'll just put keywords in that are related to the, the, act, the industry that my client is in so that we're not messaging people who are within the same industry, right? We wanna maximize the opportunity, obviously, and make sure we're sending this message to people who are most likely to, uh, to benefit from it. And if you're in the same industry, that doesn't really make sense. So not capital, not lending, let's put not loans. And, and what I'm doing here, uh, it's called a Boolean search, and, uh, but I'm excluding, uh, when you put not in all caps, um, it's excluding anybody that's a first degree connection for, the, for this particular client with this keyword in their profile. Okay, so we're, we're really starting to narrow it down here. So. Uh, capital, lending, loans, let's maybe do banking. All right, you get the you get the idea, all right? Uh, so we, we're now down to four, th we went from 9,500 down to 4,000. So let's do a quick search and see what comes up. So, you know, hopefully uh, after you like really narrow this down, you're gonna be targeting people who are your actual ideal client. But the, again, the, the, the really powerful part of this is that you don't have to connect with these. You're already connected. All you're doing is sending a message trying to restart that conversation. So many people do LinkedIn uh, connections and all that and don't do anything with their connections. This is an 
just an awesome opportunity for you guys to restart the conversation with your connections on LinkedIn. Okay. Founder and president at this place, America. So I, I'm, I, again, I'm not going to like deep dive into sales navigator, but the point is you want to narrow down your first connections. And then what you want to do is take the URL here. We're going to copy this. We're going to go back to WeConnect and this uh, third button right here, this little folder, we're going to click on this. And this is where you upload your list uh, from Sales Navigator into LinkedIn, uh, uh, into LinkedIn, into WeConnect, I'm sorry. Uh, so we're gonna click add list. You see I already have one here, but just to show you guys how to do this. Um, you're gonna uh, paste the URL in, click on first connections, search, give it about 60 to 90 seconds, uh, depends on how big the list is, but um, it's gonna start populating the list. You can then save it uh, just name it first degree connections, business owners, or wh whoever it is that you narrowed it down to. Okay. Um, and then from there, you're going to have your list. Uh, and, and if we click here, it's going to populate right here under save list. Now, once you have your list uploaded, um, that's when you can create your campaign. So we're going to go to campaign manager here. And what I like to do is send two messages. I like to send the first message with the offer, just kind of going through a couple of the benefits and, and what they're gonna get out of it. And then I'll send one follow-up message as well. You can do more than that, it's up to you. Um, this is just what we're testing right now. All right, we're gonna click add new. Maybe. All right, sorry, I'm lagging a little bit. All right. Um, We'll just do, uh, I'm just going to name this test campaign. So uh, you can name it first degree connections, uh, message, whatever your offer is then. All right, whatever's going to help you stay organized. All right. Campaign type is going to be message first connections. And it's so crazy. I've been using WeConnect for so long and that this like never occurred to me to actually do this. And I'm, I'm kind of kicking myself in the, in the butt right now because this is so powerful. Like why not send a message to all of your connections to try and restart the conversation? So uh, next, we're going to select our list, which is going to be first degree connections, or it's going to be the list that you just created. So you select that. Um, if you're already using WeConnect and you're running a campaign to connect with people, I would exclude. Uh, I would check this to exclude anybody who is in um, uh, another campaign. It's not likely to happen, but do it just to be safe. Um, you don't want to be over messaging people. All right. We're going to click save and continue. This is where you put your message in, okay? I usually start with, uh, hey, first name. Okay, insert. And then I'll do um, the, uh, just to give you like a, an overview of the type of campaign we're doing. Uh, we're basically offering a custom business funding plan. Um, you you want to come up with an offer that is very appealing, obviously, to your, your prospects. So is there something that you can give away for free, some type of free consultation, some type of customized plan, discount, something that's just going to get people on the phone? OK, and then you take them through your sales process. But basically what we're doing here is saying uh, uh, keeping it very casual. Not, uh, we're saying not sure if if this will help you, but just letting you know that we're putting together, you know, free custom business funding plans for our uh, business owners right now. So you know what your financing and credit options are. Uh, it's gonna cover X, Y, Z. Would you like me to put one together for you? Does it cost anything? Takes a few minutes, let me know. That's it, something very casual, okay, nothing crazy. All right, so you type your message out and then you wanna click add step. And then right here I do uh, select days, two days if no reply. And then I'll basically just say, hey, first name, just following up on my last message, did you want me to put together that free custom business funding plan? Let me know. That's it. It's just a simple follow up. Okay. So you got two messages going out to your connections to try and restart that conversation. They're going to say yes or they're going to say no. A lot of people are going to say no, guys. Don't get discouraged by that. Uh, again, this is something that works in the background and uh, can be really powerful. Um, you know, if you message a thousand people and get, you know, 20 to 30 that say yes, is that not worth it? Uh, especially since it's completely automated and it costs barely anything, I would say yes. Okay. Uh, hopefully your numbers are better than that, but either way, um, from there, you hit save and continue. Uh, here's the, here's the awesome thing, guys, this we can, we can do. Um, and actually I think the new limit for we connect is 150. Um, I would be careful. I always keep it under a hundred to stay under the radar. You don't want your profile getting banned or flagged or anything like that, but 
Uh, this is awesome because uh, with the new, at the time of this recording, LinkedIn is limiting you to like 25 to 30 connection requests per day now. It's ridiculous. But this we can do up to 100 or 150 messages every single day. So if you have a pretty decent number of connections, this is a fantastic campaign to do. You have to be doing this. So um, I typically do 95 per day for this and then 95 for the follow-up messages. And those things are, the, the, mess, the, the responses are, are going to start to come in. Uh, the scheduled time, I usually do every day. Um, uh, actually, some, uh, I actually uh, check off Sunday. Um, again, just to stay under the radar. But uh, eight, uh, eight to five, that's fine. Save and then you you review the campaign and you, and you launch it, guys. And that is it. Nothing crazy. Uh, all uh, again, all we're doing is sending a message to our first degree connections and and trying to restart that conversation. So, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. Give me a uh, give the video a like if this was helpful. Leave a comment down below, letting me know what you think about this strategy and uh, maybe some different ideas that that uh, you can come up with uh, using this. Um, make sure you subscribe, come out with this stuff all the time. Make sure you get your two week free trial to WeConnect that's in the description. Check out the other tutorials on database reactivation because guys, this type of strategy is really, really powerful and it is becoming uh, like the, the primary uh, campaign that we do for our clients when we're first starting off to get those wins and, and appointments, people on the books and uh, in the, in, in the calendar uh, as quick as possible. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments and I uh, hope you guys are crushing it and I'll talk to you in the next video. Peace.